we're going to focus for the next five minutes on breathing. And I'm excited to talk about this because it turns out that the rate and depth that we breathe at is a huge determinant of our mental state and our physical state. So we're just hardwired so that if we're breathing really shallowly and fast, it causes our nervous system to upregulate and we feel tense and anxious. If we're breathing slowly, it actually turns on the anti-stress response. It increases very healthy patterns of arousal, increasing what we call our heart rate variability or our vagal tone. So this is why it's important to actually consciously slow and deepen our breathing. It's good to relax. It's good to watch TV and do things that make us feel less stressed, but they don't actually change our breathing rate to be as slow and as deep as we can do with just a little direction within a few minutes. So that's what we're going to do now. The core of deep breathing is that we are bringing in breath into our belly. So breathing in, we're filling our belly, making it protrude and fill with air, filling lower lungs that we don't usually use, and then breathing out fully and slowly. So we're getting better action between the oxygen CO2 exchange that happens deep in our lung cells, our alveoli. We're increasing our oxygenation. We can do that just by bringing our breath rate from usually it's over 10, maybe it's 15, all the way down closer to six. And that really turns on our relaxation response. We can also do that by exhaling longer than we inhale. And then you can see what works for you. You might want to add an image, a beautiful image of nature because for many people that adds even a deeper state of relaxation. So let's begin together. First, I'd like you to breathe in deeply and fully into your lower belly and breathe out fully and slowly. Keep doing that with your hand on your belly. Now we're gonna do what's called one to two breathing. We're gonna breathe in for four and breathe out twice as long for eight. So breathing in, one, two, three, four. And breathing out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Continue doing that. When you get to the bottom of the exhale, you might think of the word relax. Breathing in, one, two, three, four, and breathing out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You might picture a beautiful scene in nature. Continue with that. Maybe a lot going on outside and inside. And we can't necessarily control what's happening outside, but we can control our breathing and thus our autonomic nervous system. It's a fundamental way that human beings have enhanced their well being. It's at the core of most practices like yoga, meditation, qigong. I'm going to show you another breathing technique taken from a yoga practice that, that is a four, six, eight pace. How could there be three, right? There's just an inhale and an exhale. We're going to breath hold in the middle. And I'll tell you that this is a really good one for helping you sleep. It's one that I use, it, whether it's the middle of the night, 
or winding down. So let's, we're going to breathe in for four, hold for six, and out for eight. And as we breathe out, you might want to have a whoosh sound. Ready? Breathing in. Hold. And out for eight. In for four. Hold. And whoosh. Do that four times. And do that when you wake up or before you have a stressful event or dialogue or when you're trying to sleep. The more times that we treat our bodies to these deeper states of breathing, the more we're able to turn our physiology like that into a restorative state. It's just so important during these times when we don't know what's next and we can't control what's next, but we can control our own breathing. And so we can use that as an extra tool to help us be okay with whatever is and be there for others.